Now, the handsome man you see before you is the hero of this story. And he's going to defeat every overcrowded, overly expensive, stupidly nuanced and complicated, absolutely gluttonous excuse for a once free fast pass monster by riding every new ride in all four parks in one day. No matter the cost. It's just gonna take a little bit of grit, some determination, and his magical weapon, hey. flex tape. Flex tape is for. That is exactly what the flex tape is for. You see this? Invalid. I scanned the ticket that we bought on this one that is literally official. So now I can't join the freaking virtual queue on my phone. This is a bunch of BS. We got under a minute. Three, two, one. Refreshing. Join virtual queue. I don't know if I did. What? Where's the flex tape? Let me. Hey, watch my phone, bro. And that's where it says virtual. Oh, we did it! Woo! We're in group 74, baby. Oh yeah! Woo! There she is, bro. So we're going to um, Mount Everest. The lightning lane might actually be kind of cool. Yeah, if you. If you're not broke. If you're not broke. That's conquered. You'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> I'm linked. Animal Kingdom conquered. Right now we're going to Magic Kingdom for the Tron ride and the Tron ride only. Oh, baby. Tron looks sick, bro. second boss battle of the day was wait times. It took them eight hours to call our boarding group for the Tron ride. It wasn't even ready when we got to the park, so we decided to go on the Space Mountain right before. And that ended up being another hour and 15 minute wait. And then we were called for Tron, and we waited another hour and a half before we got on the ride. All right, so uh, we rode Tron. That might have been the biggest letdown of my entire, like, Bro, the build up to that, seeing the giant thing pass by. The giant thing in the beginning that you can see from the pavilion, that's like the only cool thing. It's really short after that, and there's no more big drops or acceleration. Sad times. The seats were cool though, but uh, other than that, Space Mountain solo is that. It was way better. <laughs> oh! Ah! All right, baby, that is part two down. Let's crush this next one. Now for the smugglers run ride, we decided to buy a lightning lane. This was $15 per person. And this is where I have a big problem with Genie Plus in general. Those guys are protecting the tank. Now, as you just saw, the ride broke, and we paid $30 to get to ride that ride. No way, we broke the machine. <laughs> we broke it. And normally you would think, yeah, I'm sure they'll reimburse us. Maybe they'll let us ride it again. But no, they kicked everybody off of the whole thing. 
Now, I understand the reality of running a theme park, but when you're charging people $15 a person to ride a three minute ride, and then that ride breaks down, and they don't get reimbursed, that's where things start to get a little iffy. But after that, we decided to cut our losses and go to the Slinky Dog Ride. And it ended up being the longest wait we've had yet. All right, we're talking to the Disney travel agent right now. Apparently Guardians is the best ride ever. We just stood in that line for two fucking hours for absolutely nothing. Slinky Dog Ride, I've never ridden you. I've had a chance twice. I don't think I ever want to. Goodbye. Toy Story. So after waiting two and a half hours, we had to sprint over to Epcot to make the final ride in the day, the one we were most excited for, Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, we didn't get to ride Slinky. Get it, baby. Four and one. The park closes at 9, our lightning lane was at 7.45, and I had no idea where this thing was. Come on, let me see that freaking, let me see that spaceship. I can't see it. Oh, that's it. Let's go. I don't think I'm gonna show them. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna show them. That was so sick. You gotta experience. Here, I'll show you like my re my reaction riding it. But you, you gotta experience that for yourself. That was so cool. We got this, this, that, and Mama. La, 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 la. We did it. Mission successful. Disney World freaking conquered. All in all, I had a great time experiencing the parks once again. Like. As I always say, Disney is a better experience. It may not be the, it may not have the best rides, but the experience is the best. Um, my faith in that is ha has definitely started to slip. Just overall, how things have been run and the changes they've made, it does feel like they are squeezing every penny out of people because they can. But I think what made Disney so great is that they cared about people's experiences, which is why it was so magical. I'll pull up this clip from way back in the day. I was, it was 2014 and I wanted to meet Anakin and I, you can't hear the audio in the video, but I can still remember exactly what he said to me. Coruscant is basically just a big city at its core and it's built layer by layer of different cities until it got to the size of the planet. And the fact that he s took the time to sit down and talk to me and my brother and tell us that, like that just really shows that it wasn't really about, you know, the money is about the experiences they wanted to give people because he didn't have to do that he could have just taken a picture with us and moved on to the next kid but he didn't he cared and he gave little eight-year-old me a memory that would last a lifetime so disney i hope you fix things up or the next guy's gonna come take you out whether that's universal or that's me one day but um get your shit straight <laughs>